In this video, we're going to look at how you can use tags and frameworks to organise stuff in your MyShowcase.me account to make it easier to find things that you need. Let's look at how you'd add tags and framework mappings to a text note item so that we can find it to use later in a showcase. So here's our evidence stream and we'll find the item that we want to add tags and mappings to and we'll click the little pencil icon. You'll then see a box containing information about that item. In the previous video, we looked at um, how you edited the content description and you'll see that underneath that, you've got these tags and frameworks boxes. We can just start typing. If we press enter or add a comma, then that'll save the tag that we've added. Frameworks are sets of um, learning outcomes or skills or things that you need to do and you manage those from within your personal settings in my showcase. We'll look at that in a future video. If you click on the frameworks list then um, you can start to browse the frameworks that are available to you and when you select a framework you'll see all of the elements that make up that framework. Here we've got an academic skills framework we're going to say that this is relevant to the assessment learning outcome. Once we've selected that, we can save the changes and those tags and mappings will now be stored against that item. The principle is exactly the same regardless of the type of evidence. So let's go through the process again, looking at how we can use tags and frameworks to organise a Flickr photo that we've brought into our evidence stream. So again, when we hover over the item that we're wanting to edit, the little pencil icon pops up. And if we click that, then we can start to add the tags and framework mappings to this item. Tags can be several words long. Just remember to put in a enter or a comma after the tag to have it um, recorded against the item. You can map an item to as many different skills or learning outcomes or competences as you like. So in this case, I'm going to map it against a couple of different academic skills and then I'll save the changes. And let's go through the process one last time, curating one of our YouTube videos. So again, edit the item. Add in our tags. If you reuse the tag that you've used before, you'll see that the system will actually auto suggest um, that tag. And I could have selected that from the, the list that popped up. Again, I'll map this to the academic skills framework. And then I'll save my changes. So now that we've actually tagged um, some of our items and mapped them to frameworks, let's have a look at what we can do with them. If I go to this browse your stuff area of my evidence stream, what you'll see is that I can actually sort things using these tags and framework mappings. So if I want to see everything that's to do with my degree final year, I can just click on it in the tag list and it'll show me everything that I've tagged using that tag. I can do the same thing with frameworks. So if I click browse your stuff, if I select frameworks at the top here, then I'm able to access all of my frameworks. And if I click on any of the framework elements, it'll show me all of the items that are linked to that skill or competency or learning outcome. 